a mission. And as they did the mission, people would uh, decide they wanted to help out, so they would donate clothes and such. But as you see, you and I don't wear the same size clothes, so they couldn't necessarily use all the things to help them. So what they decided to do was use part of the building to sell items to get the things that they did need, toothpaste, things like that. That's how CARM kind of started. So from that, it's grown to now we have 19 stores, one drop-off location. It's very big. So, but we feed 1,000 meals every day, seven days a week, and we house 300 beds every night for people to sleep in, along with battered women's children's shelter, uh, back to work pro programs, all kinds of stuff. So there's a lot of things that CARM supports. This was um, oddly satisfying being able to actually organize things and put things where they're supposed to go, like you see. We contribute. This experience has been really awesome. Um, with every sale that they ring out, they're actually able to tell you how many meals that you provided to people that are less fortunate. I think that's been one of the biggest things is that we're helping contribute to those meals. They, they've just had, a, had us been stocking the shelves with uh, their donations. Uh, it's been really relaxing and an easy way to give back to you. I had a really good time here. Uh, it was really fun helping out and making a difference. Uh, it was cool to learn that um, for every two dollars provides a meal for someone in need. And it was really easy to come here and volunteer, spend a couple hours. And I mean, if, if, if any of us can do it, you know, it's not that bad. So I feel like anyone should, if they have the opportunity, especially, you know, take a chance to help around the community. It's been really fun.